The other piece that I'm really interested in that I think we'll see a lot of progress in is not a new technology. It's something I've been talking about for eight or 10 years, and that is smart glasses. Glasses that actually let us combine a view of the virtual world and see the real world behind it. Apple supposedly is working on a pair of smart glasses that they truly hope will be the next iPhone. I've been telling Apple for years that they should make smart glasses. They can call them eyeglasses. So maybe, maybe they're finally listening to me. But I actually used a pair of, of these the, uh, just a month or so ago at CES, the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Uh, developers know that I love these things, and this was a fairly sophisticated one. It was not much bigger or chunkier than these glasses. It connected by Bluetooth to a little app on your smartphone. What was interesting, and so the, the video was ended up projected down here in the bifocal area, but it appeared to be floating out in front of you about a meter or so. And then the audio was done through bone conduction. So there were little transducers in the back temples of the glasses that sat on the bone behind your ear. So you could hear, the, hear music and voices. Actually, if you like to hear voices in your head, you, you're really going to love this. The good thing about it, though, was that it actually also picks up your voice, so you can talk very quietly. Anyway, I tried that out, did my usual experiment in Las Vegas, where I go up to the convention center and wear the glasses and say, hey, Google, where am I? And immediately, a map appeared floating here, and I could see the map and map it against all the buildings that I could see in real life. Sort of a trivial application. But I think by the end of this decade, uh, today's 10-year-olds are going to be wearing smart glasses part of the time while they're in the office. It just makes sense. And in fact, I decided, what if we invented an app for baby boomers and smart glasses? So I invented What's Their Name? And it works this way. You're walking down the street. You see someone coming towards you. You've met them, but you can't remember their name. But you're wearing your smart glasses. So you say very quietly, what's their name? There's a little camera in your glasses, takes their picture, searches through Facebook, LinkedIn, Google Images, comes back a microsecond later and says, that's Michael Rogers. <laughs> oh, hi, Michael. Good to see you again. I never forget a name. I'd pay for that.